the life. They call him the answer. AI. Allen Iverson. The light, it all comes down to this. Play to win every time and you're on top of the list. The life, life, life. People think my life easy, you know, that I just want to play basketball all the time. I don't want to play basketball all the time. Iverson all the way to the cup for two. No, I don't want to get up and go to practice sometimes. Sometimes I'm hurt so bad I don't know how I'm going to get through a game. Allen Iverson has it going on, my friends. The life, life, life. In a season of too many injuries and bad breaks, this was the cruelest break of all. Allen Iverson breaks his left hand tonight in Boston. He is out for the rest of the regular season, maybe longer. Philadelphia. Forget all that brotherly love stuff. This town is tough. Rough around the edges. That's probably why they love Allen Iverson so much. What Allen has done was he's made himself the center of Philadelphia. He's the question, the answer, and the unknown. As far as I'm concerned, he's Philadelphia. It's very good chicken, marinated. Great basketball player. Fantastic. One of the best ones I've ever seen yet for Philadelphia. <laughs> As you can see around the whole country, when you say who's the number one player in basketball, the first name comes to mind is Allen Iverson. He's a hell of a ball player for the size that he is. I mean, he goes in the land of Giants, and he can score 50 points at any given time. You have to bring in probably like a Kobe Bryant and a Shaquille O'Neal to replace an Allen Iverson. Allen Iverson not being in Philadelphia is like Philadelphia not having cheese steaks and soft presses. Philly with no AI is like Philly with no City Hall. It's like Philly with no big clothespin. It's like Philly with no crack in the bell. That's Philly with no AI. It's been about three weeks since the answer became a question. Three weeks of hell for the Sixers. The life hung out with AI just before he went down. One of the last times he played. Hello? Man, I had to, yeah. I'm on my way to you right now. Got all that stuff, okay? All right, buddy. That was my 4.30 call from out. Make sure I got his clothes, make sure I'm on my way. If, if there was a job description for me as Allen's manager is to make playing basketball as easy as I can for him. All of the other stuff, all of the scheduling, all of the, um, the talks, all of the um, interviews, all of the bothersome phone calls, let me serve as a buffer for all of that so that all Allen has to worry about is playing basketball. Iverson with a step, going high off that glass with a deft touch. Iverson again locking horns with Whitney. He was put on earth to play basketball on game nights. Iverson with a step through the paint and the floater that falls. You can't invent a character like Allen Iverson. On the court, it's his bundle of energy. Allen's is real. When you think of Allen Iverson, you know exactly what you're thinking of. He's defined his own aura, and it's quite amazing. Okay, let me run in here, check his clothes. Sure, we've been doing this, man, now, getting ready for games. <laughs> since, since, what? I was got to go nine every Saturday morning. This is the life. This is the life. Okay. Good, sir. Y'all waving at the people. <laughs> Don't wave at the people. The light. Hey, dude, say this the light, man. Say peace to the light. Peace. Oh, peace. <laughs> when he gave the bird. My wife told me to uh, make sure I let her know next time when she didn't want to be on camera. Come here. You can't even close up on you. No. I hate being on camera. You know how women are. They want to look good. <laughs> Love you. Love you. 
Get us leaving my crib, man. My house, man. Y'all got my house? Dion, man, we need you. His hand coming out. Yep, going to the arena. We going to the arena. Tell him I'm on camera and my hair coming out. Yeah, we on TV and the and this hair coming out. No, you don't want that. You don't get fired. <laughs> she said, beat it. <laughs> I got two stylists. Dion. Uh -huh. AJ. AKA. We doing this every day. Rushing to the gym on game day. Well, I don't think it would be right if we didn't. Yeah, that's part of the ritual. Yeah. Usually. We're talking about a whole bunch of stuff right now. We're going to the game, a bunch of um, personal stuff, you know. Right now, this is when everybody calling for tickets, saying they need money, telling me about all their problems and everything. On the way to the game, you would think they'll wait to, you know, a day before the game or wouldn't bother me the day of the game. But this one, when it all starts, right when they know I'm going to the game. And, you know, I just have a whole lot of people just wearing the hell out of me. People think, you know, being a basketball player is just go play basketball, make a million dollars, and that's it. You know, there's a whole bunch to it, you know. People think my life easy, you know, that I just want to play basketball all the time. I don't want to play basketball all the time. You know, I don't want to get up and go to practice sometimes. Sometimes my body hurt so bad I don't know how I'm gonna get through a game, you know? People just gotta be a little bit more understanding, you know, to, to our life and understanding what we go through. I mean, it's just hard going through this every day. And yeah, we did cho choose this life, but it still is it's hard, you know, it's just, it's real hard. How's it going, Alan? Sorry, it's getting better. Good. Good luck tonight. Thanks, man. Is that mic still on me? Yeah. You hear it? Okay, I don't know. Where is that? Oh, I got it. Man, I don't know. What's wrong with my watch, man? Keep the wrong time. When you take it off, it stops. What you mean when I cut it off? I mean, when you take it off, it stops. It's supposed to stop. When you take, when you take it off your wrist, to stop. Every time you put it back on, you're supposed to set it. Man, you're crazy, man. I'm telling you. Mine do the same thing. Ain't the, I'm talking about the Rolex, right? Yeah. Yeah. Man, I'm supposed to do nothing like that. OK, all right. So I'm every time you put your watch on, I mean, you, you got to set it I'm back. No, if you leave it on for like a day or two days, yeah, you got to reset it, man. A day or two days. Yeah. What's up, man? Tough, man. If you right. leave it off for a couple of days, you got to reset it. Man, don't nobody be leaving it. I don't leave my watch off for no two days. Oh, and then I, I leave it off. Not in. It don't even have to be that long. And that's the same thing. Huh? Yeah, something wrong with yours, then. Yeah, that's what I told you. Something wrong with mine. What up? Speed up. Yeah, get them legs right. <laughs> get them legs right. It's the first mom rookie card. I'm, a, I'm like one of the most proud mamas in the world. There's a lot of us out there, and I'm just in the category with them. I'm in the category with a lot of these NBA moms. I know their children. I even feed some of their children when I'm uh, um, on the road with Allen. You know, on the back of it, got me and Allen when he was three. I'm a proud mom, baby. You, you ain't never got it, but you More with the Iversons. <laughs> Allen and his mom. Coming up. The life. relate to him, okay? He didn't grow up with a silver spoon in his mouth. Um, honestly, he's a street kid from Virginia. 
and uh, he worked hard. He got some charges against him, things that we can relate to, and uh, he made a name for himself. You can't judge a book by its cover. Now, everybody's got tattoos, they got piercings, they got everything, but you can't just judge somebody by what they look like. You gotta judge somebody by what, how they do on the court, you know? No doubt, they're respecting the fact he matured a lot because he's been through so much in his lifetime. You know, the college situation, all the stuff he's been through. He's just learned to grow with it. He rolled with the punches. That's why I love him. AI, keep up the good work. They play real close attention to me, man, for some reason. I magnifying glass on me. What's that like? What's it like? Magnifying glass? I don't like it because, um, you know, the people that the outside world got a magnifying glass on me. So the people that I'm around all the time shouldn't have one on me. That's how I feel. I understand that's where it's gonna be. And it's just important for me to understand and deal with it. But I mean, it ain't no problem. That's a small thing to a giant. New tumbo. What's that? What's that? That's what we do here, man. Get ourselves ready. You know, we talk trash to each other and get ourselves pumped up. It's part of the game. You know, guys trying to come in here and take something from us, man. <laughs> trying to come in here and take something from us. Hey. Oh, Man, Rob Boogie Fresh, rest in peace, baby. When you use the quote, you can't judge a book by its cover, you're looking at the story of Allen Iverson. The tattoos, the cornrows, the baggy clothes, the, the jewelry, the diamonds, just sparkling off from everywhere. That's just his wear. People think he might be arrogant or snobby or, or a thug because he's laid back and has this grimace. That's a protective shield. He's got a big heart, and he's a quiet individual. He's not a loud mouth. You never hear him talk trash. Never. Y'all filming the movie? I guess they got a gag. Yo, this is one of my punk-ass teammates right here. I take care of him, you know, let him hang with me and stuff like that. Keep him out of practice, you know. Work on his game. He out right now because I, I crossed him and hurt his ankle. This is our pregame ritual. Uh, we come in here, we ride the bike for like 20 minutes before the game starts. Then we lift weights. I about, lift weights all the time. Yeah, he lifts weights for about 10, 15 minutes. And when we hear when we hear our name in trade rumors and stuff like that, we go to chapel. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we the first two to get to practice and the last two to leave. Yeah. <laughs> Look at D. Hey, get him over there, lad. <laughs> man, I'll be back. Y'all can't go with me. Y'all can't go with me to this spot. Hey, man, we're going to listen a little bit, all right? All right. Cool. Just the fight coming up in the music, y'all. I'm going to the playoff. You Sixer fans really got to get loud up in here, all right? Because I sure am. Ah! Got it today. Beautiful. That's beautiful. That's what mothers get. My trophy. Iverson. Great pass. Great pass. Yay! Yay, Coach Brown! Yay! Get up! Iverson is loose.
again behind the back to Jake Spree and gets two. Any more questions? More with the answer coming up. The life, 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 life. Philadelphia loves its underdogs. Heck, this is Rocky's place. Question is, how much love will the Sixers get from the rest of the league without Iverson? Um, we're not nearly as good without him. But, you know, fact of life is he's not going to be here, and we still can be a pretty good team. I remember, I guess it was last year, he, he uh, hurt his shoulder, and, and we were Doc said, you know, it's probably two weeks, you know, seven to ten days. I think he missed three days, missed one game. He'll know his cast off. There's no way. His mom will know the cast off. There's no way he's going to miss the playoffs. No way. Is it plausible that Allen Iverson comes back in game one and drops 50? on the Celtics and the Sixers win, damn right it's possible. Life, 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 life. Soon as you get dressed, just go on down to the arena, meet me where we turn in at to go to the, um, to go, to go down in the tunnel. And I'll take, I... Nine times out of 10, it's just Mo okay. and myself. Some type right. of security if we're out anywhere, right, okay. you know, right. because okay. I mean, you know, this is my life, and you know, I don't want nobody else to be able to put a steering wheel in my back and crash me. Sixers left with 15 to shoot. Iverson, hard to the cut. Yes! And a foul! AI with 41, looking to add one more. Philadelphia has been built around Allen Iverson. I mean, the heart and the soul, and just that work ethic of an Allen Iverson. And he's taken identity, the city's taken identity of Allen Iverson with regard to basketball, like Chicago did with Michael Jordan. Without Allen Iverson, this place would, would be hell. This place would be, actually, no, you know what? It would just be boring. Which is hell. The final score, 76ers 114. And the Golden State Warriors 107. Got me a W tonight. Got me a W tonight. Got me a W tonight. We want you to play off. I'm not sitting at home. Hey, Billy. Mm -hmm. Tell Lenny I need something for my knee. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go to my son's house and I'm gonna fix him a nice, nice, nice meal to show him how much I love him. But what time am I gonna see? Like seven o'clock, something like that? I don't know, but I know I left your house and it was still like 9:30. Okay, like, huh? It was like 9:30. Hey, where Dion at, man? Mo. Oh, I don't know where she at. Oh, she's right somewhere with Greg be at. Right Damn, it feels good out here. Huh? I can get that done in the car. Oh, OK. Yeah. Uh, I love the results. Trying to get a W. That's it. Hey, come on. You can do it right here, Dion. That's his hairstylist right there getting ready to get in. I love that hairstyle, too. Let me give you a hug, boys. Come here and give you a hug. Come on, you guys. Thank you for I'm blowing this up for her. Oh, oh, okay. Yes, great. when I'm sending it off. Come on, baby, get two more. It's so nice to do that. <laughs> Man, get that. Get her over there, take yeah. a picture. Yeah. Come on, she don't want me to come out of the game. A la me. I don't never want to come out of the game. The coach know what he's doing, though. It's just rough during the season. Because, you know, it's just, the, you know, just practice and everything, and then. You know, next, as soon as you get out of practice, then as soon as you close your eyes, then practice again. And then you have a game, and then you go home, and next day, practice again. It's my life. 
It's real life. Thanks, enjoy y'all, man. We good. It's real life, baby. Life, life. Let me get some love so I can go. I so, love you. So tomorrow at 2 o'clock? Yeah. Okay. All right, baby, y'all. All right, Juicy Fruit. Love you. All right, guys. Peace out. The life, bright lights, make cars. We're superstars when we get on the court. The life, action packed with no chaser. Don't put up your shot. I'm the human eraser. The life, it gets no better than this. If I got a chance to meet Allen Robinson, I would say he's the best basketball player in the world. The life, 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 the life. Maybe one day he'll come by. If he wants a cheese steak, it's the best place to be, you know? Never heard of him. Never heard of Allen Iverson. Would you be surprised that he's a basketball player? Yes. Yes. The life.